We're going to the 2019 Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta with the Escapees RV Club. Spoiler alert, it was awesome. This was our longest RV trip in both miles and days, and we really enjoyed it. Ron and I both enjoyed the cooler, drier weather and the wide open spaces. Good morning, everyone. We have just started our drive to New Mexico. Um, we'll fill you in on the trip as we go along. So we just got on I-10 West. We have about 400 miles to go today, so we will let you know how it goes. So far, it's a beautiful day, nice and sunny, which is great right now, but probably around 11 o'clock, we're going to be really hot in here and have to um, turn the AC on. So, Joe, anything? Keep on driving. Keep on driving. One of the cool new features that we added to the RV is this cool cup holder. So I'm using my big um, cup, and as you can see, the cup holder, it used to look like this. And when I put the cup in it, it wobbled. It was just terrible. So we added this three inch PVC fitting. It was white, but I spray painted it black and it works really well. The cup fits in it very nicely. It doesn't move. And we have one on each side. So All right, we're right. leaving Florida. It's about three o'clock central time. Thanks for visiting Florida and welcome to, to Alabama. Alabama. Uh, here's the sweet home Alabama sign. Here we are in Mississippi. A nice little campground on this lake. Got 30 amp service, water, which we didn't hook up to. Really pretty lake. Uh, there's a little dump station right up there. I have these concrete pads that are good enough. It was level. So overall, it was not a bad stay. It was super quiet last night. Beautiful sunrise this morning. Here I am in a Walmart parking lot in, I don't even know where I am, close to Jackson, Mississippi. We're learning how our solar system works. The way it's wired is a little funky. Um, it's really hot all day yesterday, today and tomorrow probably and these are big drive days for us on our way to Albuquerque so we're having to run the air conditioning off of the generator the coach air conditioning because the truck air conditioning just doesn't cut it but to do that the batteries have to be a hundred percent charged because the way it's wired into the Victron inverter charger the priority is when electricity is coming in AC, AC in is coming in it goes to charge the batteries first and it really charges the crap out of them <clears throat> so if I try to turn the air conditioning on it just kills the generator I'm waiting for to get back to 100 it was already at 97 it actually charges the batteries pretty quick but so to go from 94 to 100, I mean, it's probably 15, 20 minutes, somewhere in that range. So then after that, I will turn the coach air conditioning on, and we will ride with the generator running and the coach air conditioning 
for a couple hours till we reach our next, next destination. So we just crossed into Louisiana. Um, we're going across the Mississippi River. It's pretty wonderful, this bridge. There's also a bridge right next door to us. I'm not sure what that one is. The train bridge, yeah. It's pretty cool. That's a pretty nice view from our campsite. After about 320 miles today, most in the heat, uh, there's no pretty, very, very little cell service here, Verizon. I put up the Wii Boost and just it'd probably be super buffer, slow Netflix. They have 30 amp. 50 amp service. There's water that we did hook up to tonight. There's a dump station. This campground was about nine miles off of Interstate 20 and it was paved the whole way, actually even in the campground. Some of the turns are kind of tight for a real big rig, but we did had no problem. We went around the loop twice to pick out a site. Um, it's Sunday night here and had our pick of several sites with nice waterfront views. So we decided on this one. It's number 11. Nice paved, pretty level platform. Yeah, all around. It's a nice place. We had wanted to stay at Harvest Host sites most of the way to New Mexico. But the 90 degree weather changed our minds. So we found some pretty great value camping on the way. We're weak and needed to have air conditioning every night on the way there. It was cooler coming back to Florida. This was our first drive this far west, and it was fun seeing the small towns, the big cities, miles and miles of cotton farms, and hundreds of big windmills and even oil wells. And of course, the beautiful lakes, rivers, and forests. Well, good morning, everyone. I have to do this little video because we are on I-20 West in Louisiana, near Shreveport, and this road is just absolutely horrible. I just don't know where the Department of Transportation money is going, but it's definitely not fixing this road. Anyway, just had to vent. Full hookups. We're kind of too far from the sewer to hook up because we connect back there where the water is and we don't have enough hose to reach but if we want to dump we can just pull up in the morning so this is a uh, rv park and this town here runs it i guess 15 bucks a night full hookups 50 amp yeah just about full
not have to you know worry about it so much but so far so good so we're on i-40 day four of our trip and it's been raining really for the last couple of hours um, the nice thing about it is it's cooled off the rig it's nice in here yeah, no complaining about it what am I complaining about? We're not complaining about the rain. No, we are not complaining about the rain. It is very nice and cool. To the car in 89 miles we're going. Very cool. Blazing Saddle RV Park. I mean, it's an RV park. It's pretty nice. Cool location. Level gravel sites. The sun just popped up. We're on day five of our trip to Albuquerque to the Bloom Fiesta. We had a short drive this morning. The weather has turned out beautiful. It's probably in the low 80s. Crystal clear. First boondocking experience. Multi-day. Multi -day with our solar system. Actually, it'll really be the first time we test it out to see how it works. We're at the Route 66 RV park or something. And it's... It's okay. They're full hookups. It was pretty pricey, but I guess they even offer a shuttle to the Balloon Fiesta. We're just spending one night. We wanted to have full hookups, and they have a laundry. I met this couple here. They're full-timers from Delaware. They did a Breaking Bad tour and are going to see Walter White's grave. They have brand new electric sewer. Looks good seems good the water service is all new but apparently it's well it definitely is very low pressure so a lot of people have complained they said they're getting a new pump to fix it up but since our hot water heater on-demand gas heater only works when you have good pressure I'll probably be taking a cold shower in the morning after some 1,600 miles of driving over six days, we arrived at the Balloon Fiesta RV camping site to find hundreds of RVs parked in a big dirt parking lot. But it was an awesome site where we met many really nice people, had a great time. Our next video will be all balloons all the time. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new to our channel. Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond.